Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Last uh, model we have talked about that is uh, about the action, observation and reflection and uh, now we will uh, talk about uh, the, the, uh, the theory, right. So, uh, one by one we are understanding. Now, uh, as uh, I always mention that is uh, please uh, uh, learn these different uh, theories uh, and the different models and uh, as per your the uh, situation requirement you have to be uh, 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 clever enough that is uh, which theory or which model will be applicable in your given situation, right. So, this is about the leader member exchange theory. The cycle of leadership making, leadership making phases, the as usual the case study, the research papers, uh, the book recommendations and the references will be there for your further studies. Now, now in this case we will find in when we are talking about the leader member exchange theory which is developed by the George Grain is also known as the vertical diet linkage theory. Uh, that leader member exchange theory uh, argues uh, that leaders do not treat all followers as if they were a uniform group of equals, right. So, definitely uh, when you are having the different subordinates, the all subordinates cannot be the of the equal level. Hmm? Rather the leader forms specific and unique linkages with each subordinates and thus creating a series of direct relationships is there. What is a direct relationship? Direct relationship the interpersonal relationship that is a superior and subordinate relationship is there. So, leader member exchange theory is the basic uh, reason or the logic uh, uh, for creation is that is develop the everyone. It should not be those who are the leaders they remain leaders and those who are not leaders then they are not getting any opportunity to be leader. So, equal opportunity has to be given to all. A theory that supports leaders creation of in groups and out groups. Subordinates with in group status have higher performance ratings, less turnover and greater job satisfaction is there. Uh, the beautiful outcome is there that is whenever we are talking about the leader member ex exchange theory is there, uh, then they are having that is the uh, high performance and the job satisfaction because uh, the ultimately the employees that motivation to the employees. So, this is very wrong to understand that is the uh, every employee will be motivated by money only and monetary benefits only rather than it will be seen that is the it, it, it is having their job satisfaction. Um, I will also like to share the one uh, um, uh, example uh, that is uh, we are having the MBA student and that MBA student uh, has not opted uh, uh, for the first uh, organizations which were coming for the campus placement. So, I asked her that is why you are not appearing for this. So, then she said that is sir I want to appear for an organization which will give me the my job profile which I am looking for a particular specialization. So, therefore, the job satisfaction becoming the more and more important. In the general the linkages tend to be differentiated into two major groups in the out group right and uh, are the low quality exchange relationships, interpersonal interaction is largely restricted to fulfilling the contractual obligations are there. So, there will be the leader and certain in group people will be there right and there will be the leader where less interaction is there that will be the out group will be there. In the in group leaders form high quality exchange relationships that go beyond just what the job requires. So, that is much more than what is required and these highly quality relationships are in, uh, indeed exchanges because both parties benefit is there. So, those who will be into the uh, inner circle naturally they will getting the more benefited because they are having the more exchange uh, with the and interactions with the leader. So, therefore, in that case as compared to the out group people, out group people they will be having the less exchange, less exchanges and uh, as a result of which they will not get that much opportunity to learn. How, uh, but in this um, theory also one very important point is both are learning 
the in group people are also learning and out group people are also learning and therefore in that case in in group people uh, those who are getting the uh, higher uh, um, uh, opportunities they will learn more and the leader will also learn from those uh, the in group members while in case of the out uh, out members it is becoming very difficult for them that is to going for that particular uh, uh, leadership uh, understanding with the uh, because of the less interaction with the leader now here we will see that is the uh, how to decide the internal and external uh, the out groups so subordinates abc is there def is there so leader forms the former relationships with the out group while with the in, in group people that is uh, he is also knowing about uh, the trust and high interactions with these people also he is contributing by knowing the personal compatibility of the abc a subordinate competence and are the extroverted personalities are there so therefore in that case uh, while in case of the leaders interaction with the out group there is no trust there there is no interaction with this uh, the uh, def so therefore in that case the interaction with the abc because of the trust uh, and interaction uh, and uh, knowing the personal capabilities of the individual so whenever we are talking about the personal capabilities of the individual uh, then definitely the leader and in group that is becoming much uh, wider as compared to the leader with the uh, out group members are there early on the focus of lmx theory was on stages of development as the process of the relationship developed over time these stages typically were described as role taking role making and routinization what you have to learn is that whenever new boss joins or you join a new organization so then they, therefore these three factors role taking role making and routinization they are they are contributing for the developing the relationship with the leader so focus on this and role taking means what a leader offers opportunities and evaluates the followers performance and potential so therefore first he will give you the job and then he will observe whether you have performed or you have not performed and what potential do you have role making is follower based on a process of trust building so that is the trust is there routinization is similarities in an out group and differences often accelerated for the out group become the cemented is there and therefore on the basis of the role taking and on the basis of the role making uh, that cementing of the relationship is there and that is making the routinization now what happens whenever there is a task which is to be assigned the first it will be given to the in group people in house so in group people members because they are known there is a trust and uh, they are having that role taking and role making so therefore in that case uh, the routinization will be much stronger with the in group persons the uh, the biggest leap forward in the leader member exchange came 25 years after its introduction in an article by the grain and yule van so therefore uh, uh, this theory was continuous continuing and the many organizations they were finding this uh, uh, in group people and the out group people and making the exchanges with them and uh, uh, this type of the leadership style was adopted for the so many years but later on uh, the authors expanded the descriptive portion of the model which continued to focus on the dyadic processes between the leader and followers now the time has come the earlier what was there leadership was one sided it was from the uh, leaders to the followers but now it is a dyadic that is the from the followers to the leaders also with lmx model grain and well being suggests behaviors that the leader should engage into actively developed relationship hence the prescriptive label and build more in group relations across the follower pool so there uh, what is important the number have been increased earlier it was very selective now they say no it should be more now in this uh, with the period of time uh, there are the uh, four uh, stages uh, one is the characteristics other is the stranger third is the acquaintance and fourth one is the maturity is there so in the characteristics is there the relationship building phase reciprocity time span of reciprocity between the leader and member exchange and incremental influence is to be there while in case of the stranger it is a role taking cash and carry immediate uh, low and none is there so therefore um, here leader member uh, the stranger is the exchange um, acquaintance is medium and the maturity it is very high in acquaintance it is a role making 
right that is the what uh, the potential observation is there by the leader mixed some delay so therefore that is a role making and role taking is there here acquaintance will be the medium leader member exchange and incremental influence it is limited in case of the maturity is concerned a uh, role routinization role routinization means that is the cemented relationship between the leader and the follower whenever there is a cemented relationship between the leaders and the follower so role routine is, is there and there in reciprocity that is in kind is there so sometimes uh, uh, the greetings are there and like this type of the greetings there is a reciprocity is there and at the time span of recipro reciprocity in case of the stranger it is immediate in case of the acquaintance it is some delay is there in case of the maturity it is indefinite time span of the reciprocity is there in leader member exchange it is a uh, stranger is low, acquaintance is medium and maturity is very high. Incremental influence it is non limited and almost unlimited is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, whenever we are uh, talking about the in incremental uh, influence right from the relationship building phase these are the different phases are there and it, it is starting with the role routinization cementing identifying the potential performing to the incremental influence will be there. So, uh, here uh, this particular path which is taking care right from the building of the relationship uh, or the trust to the routinization uh, that, that requires a, a journey and in that journey that uh, exchange exchange between the from the leader to the subordinates and from the subordinates to the leader that is becoming very very important. This cycle of leadership making the leadership making process prescribes that the leader should work to develop special relationship with all followers. This is very important. Now, you see there are 10 employees are there under, under one supervisor, then all the 10 employees will not be the in, uh, part of the leader member exchange, right. So, that is the that is there will be a special relationship with the certain uh, followers are there and then uh, uh, with uh, when, when he is interacting with all 10, then he offer the an opportunity for new roles, because he is not biased he is frank and free and therefore, he is giving opportunities to all and this and challenges and then should nurture high quality exchanges with all followers. And therefore, uh, the leader should focus on ways to build trust and respect uh, with all subordinates resulting in the entire work group becoming an in group uh, rather than uh, accentuating the differences between in groups and the out groups are there. So, here we will find that that is the how this leader member exchange theory that helps us to develop a leadership uh, uh, making with this uh, particular right from the routinizers is there. Whenever we are talking about uh, this leadership making the uh, uh, if with the phase 1 with the strangers is there, now how much uh, the leader is interacting with that particular stranger and interactions uh, within the leader subordinates uh, uh, died are generally rule bound. So, suppose he has to um, do certain jobs and then out of those jobs he has to report a certain uh, certain jobs directly to the boss that is a leader and th then that is a rule bound is there that is the A, D, F you have to report to your boss is there. While rely on the contractual relationships uh, in with the stranger it is a formal. So, therefore, that contractual relationship is the rules, regulations and contractual relationship will be there. They will be related to each other within prescribed organizational roles. So, there is nothing like the informal, there is nothing like the beyond the boundaries and therefore, that relationship uh, with these will be the very much uh, limited prescribed one and the experiences lower quality exchanges are there. Why lower quality exchanges? Because of the that wall, curtain wall is there and that curtain wall is that that is about talking about the formal roles. That motives of subordinates directed towards self interest rather than good of the group and therefore, it will be more self focused will be there. So, the in, in the so therefore, it is not suggested much. In the beginning yes, in the beginning everyone will be have a stranger's role will be there. So, it starts with the stranger, but st uh, in the stranger it will be limited to the very, very much formal and formality. While in case of the acquaintance you will find that is whenever we are talking about the relationship between the, between the leader and the member it begins with an offer by leader subordinate for improved career oriented social exchanges is there. So, therefore, now one step ahead. So, therefore, it, in the beginning it, it, it was uh, just a formal 
and now um, the, the leader is making the offer, offer to the subordinates for the improved career oriented social exchanges, giving more opportunities. Uh, it is, it now, he is breaking that uh, um, boundary uh, or, or raising that curtain and therefore, allowing these uh, uh, the out group people to, uh, 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 to come into the in, in, in group circle. And here the testing period will be both. The subordinate is interested in taking on new roles whether he is interested or not otherwise some will make the excuses that I have so many jobs I have to do this and that. So, I can I can do this in, uh, why do not you give this assignment to others. Provide new challenges shift in diet from formalized interactions to the new ways of relating quality of exchanges improves along with the greater trust and respect and the less focus is there uh, in, in, in case of uh, that is the self interest is there. While in the case of the stranger there was a much more, more focus was there in the case of the individual self uh, interest. While when you were into the acquaintance, acquaintance will be the, uh, the breaking of the boundaries and therefore, the breaking of the boundaries both are having the mutual exchange and for the career oriented uh, actions. When this, this acquaintance is going towards the mature partnership, the marked by the high quality leader member exchanges are there and therefore, that, that communication, interaction, assignments, delegations and that, that will start and therefore, it will be the mature the partnership, it will move towards the maturing the partnership is there. Experience high degree of mutual trust, respect and obligation towards each other is there. So, therefore, in that case it, it, it is becoming the uh, trust, respect and uh, obligation is very, very important uh, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, having the mature partnership with each other. Trusted relationship and the found it dependable. So, therefore, in that case both are understanding each other and they say yes, we are ready to make the uh, leader member relationship. High depend of reciprocity and high develop pattern of relating that produce positive outcomes for the both themselves and the organization is there. So, in the case of this high depend of reciprocity is there and may depend on each other for favors and special assistance is there. So, dependency starts. So, in, in, in case of the stranger it was a self centered, uh, in case of the acquaintance it was the mutual uh, uh, was there and less focus was the for the self centered. Uh, but uh, uh, now the, the relationship uh, that is uh, becoming the more and more uh, uh, the stronger and uh, now therefore, uh, uh, when it is a maturity of partnership is there. So, both are having the high trust, high trust and partnership is there. So, we can say in its earlier form the vertical diet linkage model a leader member exchange was one of the simplest of the contingency model, situational model. Huh? Contingency means situation model. Even today, it is largely about the process of relationship building between the leader and the follower. And the situation has barely crept in. From an application perspective, perhaps the biggest limitation of leader member exchange is that it does not describe the specific behaviors that lead to the high quality relationship exchanges between the leader and the follower. So, this might be the theoretical limitation, but practically, I think that is you can understand. When you are developing this relationship with your boss or that leader, then you can find out what is the expectations and therefore, that application perspective you can judge. Some of the subsequent contingency models continues to generate research into the present decade in fact, among all major contingency models. Most of the articles published and is being studied both across countries and with globally distributed teams are there and therefore, uh, this leader member exchange. Because nowadays what is a big challenge is to whom to get into the inner circle and to whom to we should not get into the inner circle because uh, uh, otherwise all are into the outer circles are there. So, various uh, research papers have been published on the leader member exchange uh, includes uh, the paper and a lot of research work has done on this leader member exchange theory that is the followers proactive personality. So, when you are stranger that time there is an opportunity to get the acquaintance dear friends. So, uh, it is what I will advise you that whenever you get the opportunity even a small or short opportunity you have to create your imprint. The extent of the leaders social network that is the how leader is really allowing 
social network whether he is interested in social network or not. Some leaders are even not interested in social network. The degree to which employees identify their supervisor with the organization and therefore, in that case uh, uh, that is uh, whatever the supervisors uh, employees are having uh, that uh, identity that, that uh, is very important. Employees perception of both the procedural and distributive justice climate. What is the procedural and distributive justice climate is there that is the as per the rules and regulations and procedures are there and second is that is the whatever the leader wants to give to the others. The degree that followers pursue that the leaders treat all employees equal and therefore, in that case uh, it, it will not be difficult. We, uh, actually, uh, if you remember I have started with this particular concept that is the, the leader member exchange theory is to bring the all to the equal level because those who are in uh, they have been developed and when they have developed they will be out and out, out persons they will be in and therefore, in that case that acquaintance that stranger becoming in the acquaintance and then maturity of the partnership is there and therefore, that little member exchange theory that will be working. Now, here the case study is of the Barack Obama is taken of the United States in 2008. During his presidency, his uh, uh, leadership style was described at times as transformational, servant leadership, charismatic leadership, dysfunctional, extreme and non-existence is there. So, therefore, uh, uh, whenever uh, these leadership styles uh, which have been become very popular nowadays and that is becoming the uh, servant leadership style to serve the others to serve the others, to serve the society, to serve the followers. Regardless of different perception, leaders must interact with many to accomplish goals and advance organizations. Uh, leaders also interact with a small group of close advisors or the confidants who lend guidance and support in return for increased loyalty and our favoritism is there. And now, oh, there are so many uh, dimensions are there uh, for this particular comments, um, but here uh, restricted to the L LMX theory, I would like to say that is the yes when you are making the inner circle it is expected that is the loyalty will be given by your inner circle people uh, to the leader is there. But uh, I know that is there are the limitations for these theories also and therefore, many times uh, that is the you do not find uh, that a return on this leadership uh, investment uh, uh, that is I will say ROLI. So, that a return on leadership investment uh, um, always will not be the 100 percent. So, loyalty you may get you may not get, but then what is the uh, what is the importance? The importance is that that is the percentage of getting the loyalty will increase. If you will increase this uh, LMX theory, the percentage of uh, getting the inner circle people that will increase, and uh, but uh, all will be the loyal, uh, not necessarily. This dynamic of interacting with a small group yet having to rely on the support of a large group is critical to the leadership process and known as leader member exchange theory. So, therefore, you are making some people inside. So, what is about the rest of the people? They should not be dissatisfied otherwise your whole theory will <laughs> go west. It was during his time in the United States Senate that Obama began building close relationship with advisors and legislators. One was with his first United Senate aide Dan Shoman who would later become his close political advisor. Shoman's key contribution to Obama's political development was making Obama realize that he needed to understand all of the political cultures of Illinois and therefore, in that case that is the including the external people. So, when you are having these uh, including the external people also uh, that, that is becoming the really uh, the very very important. So, therefore, uh, in LMX theory please do not focus on the inner circle otherwise uh, 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 that, 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 that will not create a good image into the organization. So, to create the uh, the your uh, uh, the uh, the fair fair image of the leadership right. So, there are some people because of their competency, but again as I mentioned inner will go out outer will go in. Strong relationship with the people who in turn have greater influence with Obama during his 2004 US Senate campaign. David uh, Axelrod, uh, a highly regarded political consultant, Jim Colley, who became the Obama's campaign manager, then the Peter Ginger, so who ran the direct mail operations, and the pollster, the Paul Hurstead is there. So, therefore, these inner circles uh, uh, which was uh, created by Obama, there in many nationally known advisors, Robert Gibbs, David Plough, and the Velvet Jarrett political advisors. Uh, 
Sebastian Goolsbee and the David and Christian Romer economist and Susan Rice national security Obama's inner circle and many of these people later become some of Obama's first appointments to his staff and cabinet. One will result remained with the Obama uh, uh, through his final year in office and held significant influence with him. So, naturally there will be the people right like uh, here the Barack Obama is having and uh, that is his the uh, certain uh, um, his advisors those who were in the past for the different verticals uh, and they have been continued and some of them have continued till the final year also. So, therefore, in that case it becomes very very important that is the you create a team. So, when you are creating a team uh, this uh, this model uh, this uh, LMX theory where you are talking about uh, that is the uh, the stranger right uh, because they must be the stranger first, but they, they have reached to the mature um, uh, mature relationship right of the leader member relationship. So, uh, he also had close ties both politically and personally with vice president Joe Biden uh, who by virtue of his title was included in every major discussion Obama held with his senior uh, uh, leadership team. So, this was the uh, case it was written that time uh, the Joe Biden was the this uh, vice president right and now we see that is uh, he is the uh, uh, president. Uh, uh, so, Obama's close confidence have provided him with the guidance and assistance when making difficult decisions. This close group has also created criticism from those inside and outside the administration regarding the openness and transparency of Obama's decision making processes and has created the perception of allowing less participation while deciding the critical matters facing the United States is there. So, therefore, in that case it becomes very very important that is the whatever the transparency of Obama's decision making process is there he is able uh, to create the transparency and because of the transparency the members uh, especially the inner circle members or even the outer circle members they were able to see, uh, see and understand what my leader wants to do what he is doing and what will be his vision or objectives to perform in that particular organization and therefore in that case it becomes very very uh, essential that is the uh, uh, you are having these uh, transparency in your leadership. President Obama has a strength of creating effective relationship with those closer to him while also establishing good relationship with many others. He also has a potential blind spot by having an inner circle that may keep him from being transparent, inclusive and allowing others to participate in the decision making processes there. So, therefore, in that case uh, in, in this process uh, the question arises who is in President Obama's in group and why is in his group in asset or the, or the detriment to the perception of his presidency right. And now in the current situation you can write the answer for this question uh, uh, very interestingly and wisely. How important are in groups in regard to the leadership process how important uh, are they more of an asset or liability for leader and why. So, now today we can say that is his uh, inner circle Joe Biden now that is uh, that has proved uh, the assets uh, are there, but maybe there might be the experiences with your leadership uh, style or the industrial experiences that you will find that is uh, some of them those uh, who are working uh, with you and uh, are you were working with your leader. So, you were into the inner circle and then you will find that is the uh, they, they are becoming into the outer circle is there. So, uh, uh, the, uh, it, it depends it depends on that particular situation that is in a given situation your leadership style how it is working and then when you are making these groups uh, whether the inner group is there or the outer group is there then you have to be considered enough that is the uh, any time uh, that exchange exchange can be done you can convert from the inner circle to the outer circle and from the outer circle to the inner circle is there. And uh, once you are making this type of this uh, uh, inner circle and outer circle from that case study you can adopt that is the yes uh, you can find out that is is the uh, how your style of leadership that is working. While answering these two questions as an assignment you will find that is the uh, you will be able to study of your own research uh, uh, the contents and then uh, find out the your own research uh, uh, objectives and inputs uh, what, what works for you and whether the transparency, transparency will be workable for you or it will, it will not be workable for you. So, that you will be able to decide. 
Now, here in leader member exchange uh, work engagement and job performance, uh, uh, this particular uh, paper, uh, this particular paper which uh, has been uh, 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 specifically written is uh, it, uh, I have mentioned earlier also that is uh, this type of uh, the research uh, that has become very, very popular uh, and uh, in nowadays in the, uh, the journals uh, you will find the much uh, research papers are there. So, you can refer the different journals for this particular uh, uh, the th uh, theory, leader member exchange theory. Uh, which has become the favorite of the uh, uh, authors uh, for writing the papers because that is making the study uh, and then on basis of these studies uh, you can write uh, the journal paper or you can write about this uh, particular uh, um, uh, uh, these uh, the, uh, the the findings of this uh, your research study may help you for your effective leadership is there. The purpose of this paper is to examine the process through which the leader member exchange is related to the followers job performance right and there uh, uh, it is always uh, it is always better that is uh, you are able to understand that is uh, whatever the followers job performance is there and then you are ma uh, making them uh, to uh, taking them uh, from inside to out are right from that is the uh, from the str uh, stranger or uh, are continuing uh, uh, to into the stranger or you are taking uh, uh, from the stranger to the acquaintances there. Integrating the literature on LMX theory and resource theories, the authors hypothesize that the positive relationship now, this is a very, very important that is a relationship between the leader and member hmm? uh, between LMX and employees job performance is sequentially mediated by job resources. So, why it is so and what is to be done? While making you are exchanging from your inner circle to the outer circle, this is becoming very, very important that is the employees job performance is uh, you are providing the autonomy how to do this. From means uh, how you are taking the uh, employees from outer circle to inner circle means what exactly how do you take by providing the autonomy. So, suppose you are having the 10 subordinates and out of those 10 subordinates to 5 you are giving the autonomy. So, you are shifting them you are shifting them from the outer circle to the inner circle as we have seen in the earlier slide that it, it was becoming only the formal formal relationship if you restrict the formal relationship autonomy will not be there because it will be subject to the rules and regulations of the organization guided by the rules and regulations of the organization and if it is rules and regulation there is no autonomy because every job every position is having certain rights and duties and you are just following that you are not going breaking the boundaries. So, therefore, that is the autonomy only. Then developmental opportunities. Now, out of those 10 people to whom you are providing the development opportunities are there. If you are providing the development opportunities to some of them, but on the basis of what? It is not just because just you like them or they are you are from the, there is some similarity or there are shortcut in judging. And shortcut in judging others means what? That is you are judging the other persons only um, by the because he is from your place or he is uh, 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 always favors you and therefore, in that case you are giving the development opportunities. No, it is because of the competency because whenever inner circle was there you are given certain assignment and basis of that certain assignment there was a developmental opportunities and, and social support is there. So, all the superiors, subordinate, colleagues uh, and all the peers all are supporting uh, is there because he is the in, uh, in the uh, those uh, um, uh, the uh, uh, followers those who are into the inner circle is there and employee work engagement is there and naturally here sequentially mediated by the job resources uh, who are coming into the internal circle those who have been uh, provided autonomy, development opportunity, social support and they, they are having the high work engagement is there. Now, here design methodology approach is there. In total 847 Dutch police officers filled out an online questionnaire multi level structural equation modeling was used to test the hypothesized relationship and to account for the uh, nesting of employees in teams is there. So, therefore, in that case how these teams were formed. In the findings, employees in high quality LMX relationship work in a more resourceful work environment that is report more developmental opportunities and social support, but not more autonomy. Here is a very, very interesting finding is there. You see, uh, we were talking about that, uh, that is uh, autonomy, social support, uh, right and developmental opportunities, all three are provided. But uh, in the, when we are making this uh, particular uh, uh, analysis of these uh, samples, then we find that report more developmental opportunities and social support in inner circle people, but not more autonomy. 
maybe the leaders are not very in favor of this autonomy. This resourceful work environment in turn facilitates work engagement and the job performance is there for which uh, this particular uh, activity was formed. The limitation of this research paper is the value of the high LMX relationship for building a resourceful environment. In turn, this resourceful environment has important implications for employees work engagement and the job performance which I have mentioned earlier in the above uh, is findings are there. What are the practical implications of this type of the findings? How these are useful to you? The result of the study emphasized the importance for subordinates to have a good relationship with their leaders since the quality of the element in relationship is associated with the quality of the work environment. So, naturally there is a good relationship is there. It also stresses the importance for leaders for having a good relationship with subordinates since this is a positively related to employees work engagement. Now, you see that is this is becoming a vertical. So, it is going from when, when the leader is having with the inner circle, inner circle is having with the positive relationship with their subordinates. Research shows that engaged employees also have a better health and are absent less often. So, higher is the uh, work uh, engagement is there uh, that Shofali has done uh, this work on this uh, uh, the employee engagement uh, vigor absorption and dedication. So, as you will find they are more involved in the job and they are less uh, absence are there. Studies also showed that it is possible to train leaders in their active listening skills and uh, spending time talking to each subordinate interaction more and more interaction and listening them and sharing expectations and telling them that what is expected. Now, you see this communication is very, very important. I uh, in my 35 years of experience, I have seen many times subordinates are complaining, they are not very clear about what their bosses want. So, why that is because it is a lack of communication and uh, maybe it may be because of the formal roles or maybe the lack of trust and what interpersonal relationship basically. Compared to the control groups, uh, this training led to gains in the leader member exchange quality, job satisfaction and the productivity is there and that you can find out. The book recommendation uh, for this uh, leadership is the Oxford handbook of the leader member uh, exchange and uh, the in this book you will find new theory in the 1970s uh, to a mature area of research in 2015. So, uh, interest in this theory has increased rapidly over the past four decades and the pace of research in this area continues to accelerate dramatically. The Oxford handbook of the uh, leader member exchange takes stock of the literature to examine its roots, what is currently known, what research gaps may exist and what areas are in need of the most urgent uh, research is there. These are the contents of the book uh, and uh, then, uh, here you will find a different authors have given their uh, different uh, it is a compiled book basically and therefore, you will find uh, that is the uh, there are the issues uh, and about the uh, antecedents of the leader member exchange beyond the diet right foundation uh, and uh, also you will find that is what are the current issues are there in the leader member exchange. Uh, these are the certain references for your further readings which you can refer uh, and this is all about uh, the leader member exchange uh, and how to be become uh, the inner into the inner circle and uh, as a leader how to interact with the inner circle people and outer circle people. But one thing which I have, uh, before I end I want to share with you that is inner circle people are fine, but uh, you, have, you have to also understand unless and until you do not have the support of the outer circle people and that confidence and trust uh, between the inner circle people and uh, the outer circle people the leadership will not be complete it will be incomplete and ineffective. So, be careful while making the leader member exchange and make it more successful as much as possible. Thank you.